My next guest tonight is a singer and actress you've seen in BBC's War and Peace and HBO's Chernobyl. She now stars in the new film, Wild Rose. I'm actually trying to get to Nashville, you know? Oh. I'm, I'm needing to raise a couple of grand so I can get flights and hotel and... I can't drive, so I'm needing a driver as well. And it wouldn't it be more than two or three, definitely less than five. Oh, Rosalind, I... I'm sorry, I can't just give you money. That's what you're suggesting, which I'm sure it wasn't. No, it was. I can't do that. I don't know. I'm not being funny, but I just kind of thought with all the wee smelly candles burning everywhere and bottled water and all that, you know, you wouldn't miss it. I'll be old and grey before I save the money, whereas you... And you, you could just drink out of the tap. Please welcome Jesse Buckley. Now, the last time we saw each other was at the Montclair Film Festival. I saw Wild Rose there, and you, it, it, it's, it's, I think it's the favorite movie I've seen this year. Aww. And you're extraordinary <laughs> in it. Everybody should go see this movie just for your performance in it. Aww. Not just as an actress, but as a singer. You have just a beautiful voice. Tell, tell the people what the movie's about. Um, well, it's about a girl, well, about a girl called Rosalyn Harlan, who you meet her at the top of the film, and she's traipsing out of prison. Yes, <laughs> uh, with an ankle monitor. With an ankle monitor, which she's not happy about. <laughs> and um, she has a dream and a passion to be a country uh, singer and go to Nashville. But um, you slowly realize that she's also a mother and uh, the stigma of the mistakes that she's made and the judgment that she has for herself and mm -hmm. what she feels people have um, is the thing which she is trying to work out. <laughs> now, it, it, there, is there a country music scene in Glasgow? Oh, yeah. <laughs> why, why, why is there a country music scene in Glasgow? Because that's, I found out that's a real thing, but I don't understand. Because that's, that's like purely like an American art form that we don't think as being in another country. Man, you gotta come to Glasgow. It's unreal. You'll have the best night out. Oh, it's really? like. Well, it's, it's like the Grand Ole Opry in Glasgow does exist, and it's in the middle of the Docklands. And on the outside, it just looks like this disused kind of building. Mm -hmm. And it used to be a morgue, which was then turned into a cinema. <laughs> <laughs> that which, sounds like a country song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then was turned into a church for country music. And there's like a, a full country band, line dancing. They take an American flag out at 12 o'clock. It's huge, you know, massive oh, wow. respect. I've got to go. You've got to go. Now, <laughs> you know, in, in, in real life, you, you got your uh, break. Uh, competing in an English uh, reality show that we don't, a British reality show we don't have over here. It's called I'll Do Anything. Oh, God. And there you are. I look like an insane sheep that's trying to fly. <laughs> How old are you here? I was 17. 17, wow. And that must have been absolutely nerve wracking. Yeah, it was kind of a mad, like, I, I basically ended up doing it because I came over to London to try and apply for drama school to do musical theatre and I didn't get into this school that I really wanted to go to so there was this live you know open audition I thought well I'll go and practice for my next one not yep. thinking anything um, and then it just kept going and I mean I I couldn't believe it like you know I was I thought it would take 30 years at least for me to even get a chance to get in the door for no <laughs> of, you know, to stand in front of Andrew Lloyd Webber and Cameron McIntosh. That's what I was going to say. Andrew Lloyd Webber really sort of took a shine to you. He thought you should win. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Was that nerve-wracking, just talking to him, or...? Um, yeah, it was. But he's actually such a lovely man, and he's really been really kind to me since I finished, and kind of cu quietly just kind of called up every now and then and said, how's it going, and That's what nice. stories do you want to write, <laughs> and, you yeah. know... Um, well, yeah. You've got a beautiful, you've got a lovely Irish accent, but you have to do a Glaswegian accent here, and I assume that they're pretty... 
uh, touchy about that, you getting it right. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was terrified when I got the part. I was it's like, like a Boston accent here. You have to get it right or just go oh, home. Oh, yeah. They're the proudest people. Like, if I didn't get it right, they would have chased me out with pitchforks and <laughs> never let me back in. Did you, did you go around, like, sort of incognito, trying to be, like, native Glaswegian and go to <laughs> bars and stuff? Yes? <laughs> yeah. Well, I kind of based myself off in Glasgow for, like, a month before I started shooting. And Is there a word that you absolutely had to get right to hook yourself into it? Is like there a, a word that would say completely different with your native accent as opposed to the Glaswegian accent that like, I gotta get this one right. Spice girls. Spice girls? Spice girls. <laughs> and how would the, you say that? The spice girls. And they say? Spice girls. Wow. <laughs> you don't Go on, have... you, you try it. <laughs> spice, spice girls. Oh, yeah. Is that right? <laughs> Spice Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Spice Girls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're doing a song for us tonight. <laughs> and, the, and the song is called Glasgow. And it was, it was uh, written by Mary Steenburgen, I understand. Yeah. That I did not expect. I know. She's amazing. I mean, how much talent can one person have? Uh, yeah, we were, like, looking for a song for ages. And then she uh, had been, you know, got a uh, kind of quote of what the song was, but being the incredible Oscar-winning actress that she is, she's, she emailed her agent and said, can I actually read the script? And so read the script and wrote this song called Glasgow, which when we got it th through, we were like, oh my God, this is, this is definitely the right song for our story. Well, stick around to hear Jesse Buckley perform Glasgow from Wild Rose. Jesse Buckley, everybody. <laughs>